Hello friends, I am Dr. Anamika Bhargava. Today, we will discuss the topic Bresenheim line algorithm. As we all know, in the previous uh, presentation or previous lecture, we have discussed the DDA line algorithm. The content of this algorithm will be Bresenheim line drawing algorithm and we will do the comparison between the DDA line algorithm and Bresenheim line algorithm. What is the difference between DDA and Bresenheim line algorithm? Bresenheim algorithm was developed by J. E. Bresenheim in 1962 and it is more accurate and efficient than DDA. It scans the coordinates but instead of rounding them off as in DDA line algorithm, it takes the incremental value in account of adding or subtracting and therefore it can be used for circle and curves. The Bresenheim line algorithm is another incremental scan conversion algorithm. The big advantage of this algorithm is that it is used only the integer calculations. Move across the x axis in unit interval and at each step of x choose between two different values of y coordinates. If a line is to be drawn between two points x and y then next coordinate will be x a plus 1 comma y a and x a plus 1 comma y a plus 1 where a is the increment value of next coordinate and the difference between these two will be calculated by subtracting or adding the equation that we will use for the Bresenheim line algorithm and that will help us to choose the next point where we have to plot the pixel. From position suppose we have taken a position 2 comma 3 we have to choose the next point it can be 3 comma 3 or it can be 3 comma 4 and we would like to plot the point that is closer to the original line. For example, in this diagram, we have started from the point xk, yk. This is the starting point and the value of this xk, yk is 2, 3. And this line is going from in between the two pixel that is xk plus 1, yk plus 1 and xk plus 1, yk. So these two points could be in terms of numeric value 3, 3 and 3, 4. And we have to choose the point that is closer to the line. The line, the point is closer to the line, we have to make the plot. Derivation of the Bresenheim line algorithm. In this diagram, there are two axes, x axis and y axis. At sample position xk plus 1, the vertical separation from the mathematical line are labeled as d upper this is d upper and this is d lower the y coordinate on the mathematical line at xk plus 1 would be y m xk plus 1 plus d and we have to calculate the value or the difference between the d upper and d lower and then we calculate we will check the value of d upper and d lower is negative or positive so d upper and d lower are given as follows d lower will be calculated as as we have seen in the diagram that is yk plus 1 minus y and d lower will be y minus yk d lower is y minus yk and d upper is yk plus 1 minus y and we will put the value of line equation in place of value of y here and here also and we will do the simple calculation about the pixel closer to the mathematical line by calculating the value of d lower minus d upper. And this will help us to calculate the value of m where the m is delta y upon delta x. By calculating delta x d lower minus d upper, we will calculate this mathematical equation. So our decision parameter pk for the kth step will be calculated by pk is equal to delta x d lower minus d upper. The sign of the decision parameter will decide pk is the same at that of d lower minus d upper. If the value of sign of decision parameter pk is negative, we will choose the lower pixel. If the value of pk is positive, then we will choose the upper pixel. Remember, coordinate changes occur along the x-axis in unit steps. So we can do everything with the integer calculation only. 
at the step k plus 1 the decision parameter is given as by subtracting pk from pk plus 1 we will get this formula we will get this formula and in these two formula the value of xk plus 1 minus xk is 1 and here the value of yk plus 1 minus yk is again 1. So the decision parameter p0 will be we can write as 2 delta y minus 2 delta x or if we will put the value of pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y minus the value of 2 delta x minus yk plus 1 minus yk the complete decision parameter p0 will be get as 2 delta y minus delta x and this p0 will be used in the DDA line algorithm as a first step. Bresenum line algorithm for case m less than 1. m less than 1 means the number of changes in x will be greater as compared to number of changes in y. So input the two line endpoints storing the left endpoint this is the starting point x0 comma y0 and we have to start the plot, plotting of the point x0 and y0 and calculate some constants like delta x, delta y, 2 delta y, 2 delta y minus 2 delta x and get the first value of decision parameter by putting the values in p0. By putting the value of p0, we will check the value of p0 whether it is negative or positive. If the value of p0 or you can say pk is less than 0, it means negative, the next point that we have to plot is xk plus 1 comma yk. It means we have to do some changes in x but y will be same. And the formula for next decision parameter will be pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y. Otherwise, if the value is positive, then we have to do some changes in both the coordinate x and y by 1. xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1 and the formula for the next decision parameter will be pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. And we will repeat these 4 steps up to 4 delta x minus 1 times for proving this algorithm I am going to take an example suppose we have 2 points 20 comma 10 and 30 comma 18 first we have to calculate the value of constant of delta x is equal to 10 delta y is equal to 8 delta x will be calculated as x2 minus x1 same delta y will be calculated as y2 minus y1 and 2 delta y is 8 multiplied by 2 is equal to 16 and 2 delta y minus 2 delta x is equal to minus 4. Calculate the initial decision parameter p0 by putting the value and that will is equal to 6. As we have seen it is the value, the value is positive. If the value is positive it means we have to take the next incremental value because we have started the value as 20 comma 10 and if the value of first decision parameter is positive that is 6 it means we have to do the changes both in x and y initially it was 20 comma 10 now it will be 21 comma 11 again we have to put the value in decision parameter the value is 2 it means again we have to do some changes in x and y both the value will be 21 to 22 and 11 to 12 and this 2 again pk we will put into the decision parameter formula and we get the value is minus 2. Minus 2 means the value is negative. It means we have to do some changes in x but the y will be same. And this minus 2 value again we will put into the decision parameter formula and we will get the value 14. It means again the value is positive and we have to do the changes in x as well as in y and we will get the value 24 and 13. In the same way we have calculated the value up to we will not reach 30 comma 18. Till the value of 30 comma 18 there are how many number of steps we will get 30 minus 20 that is delta x is equal to 10. It means this the whole algorithm will complete into the 10 steps and we will get the last or final plot pixel that is 30 comma 18. Here there is an example or derivation of the algorithm we have already discussed. Now there are some advantage of Bresenham algorithm over the DDA line algorithm why we are doing 
the two same line algorithm the bresenan line algorithm has a following advantage and fast incremental algorithm and it use only the integer calculation in comparison of dd line algorithm accumulation of the round of error can make the pixel line drift away from what we are intended so line can be disturbed the rounding operation and floating point arithmetic involved are time consuming that's why we are using the bresenan line algorithm as more accurate and more efficient as compared to the dd line algorithm thank you